guys welcome to knowledge live stream today in the DIY section I will show you how to change many of the components of this broken Dell laptop and transform it into something looking like a brand new laptop don't forget to like this video and share it with your family and friends if you haven't subscribed please click the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell for the latest video so uh, apparently uh, I left my laptop on the sofa and uh, my two-year-old uh, thought it was something uh, bouncy and she jumped on it and uh, so I have a pretty much um, a broken screen, the broken front panel over here, the bezels broken from this side and uh, the whole piece over here is missing and so the screen is quite wobbly and uh, when I close the laptop you can see it's pretty much out of a line so it's basically messed up but I think apparently from the hard drive and many other internal components uh, as you can see right over here the screen is pretty much messed up so I'm gonna change the LCD the front trim the back cover uh, along with the front a keyboard bezel uh, change the keyboard uh, while I'm at it and uh, change the palm rest along um, along with the back base cover because uh, a lot of the screws are missing and uh, also if you look from this base right over here it's also missing uh, like a piece because it's a really thin as you can see it goes from here to here this piece is missing but uh, this is a very thin trim so it got broke and other than that everything is internally is gonna stay the same uh, so I'm just gonna replace all of these outer parts and the LCD screen so let's get down to it and start tearing it apart so I will start by removing all these screws from all the corners uh, also from here the back cover and also first I have to remove the battery uh, I will also be replacing this battery uh, with a new one so the tools that are going to be required for this job are going to be either you use a manual screwdriver or you can also use an automated um, machine uh, and keep it at the lowest setting so that you don't strip uh, the screws and uh, for picking you can use something like this a pointed one or this is also magnetized so it's um, I could reach to places with it and uh, also you could use forceps uh, whatever you're good with So I have taken out all the screws and make sure you put them in a um, in a place where they're all together like I put it over here uh, because uh, when you lose them they're hard to get and pretty much I will be using the same screws for the installation unless I get some extra screws uh, with the new part parts. Now you will remove the keyboard trim. Carefully pry this out of the slot like this and take it separate. So your next step is to remove these two screws for the keyboard. So at this point you can remove other screws that are here on this panel. So once all the screws are removed, uh, you have to uh, take this apart, separate this, and then you're going to turn it over to take out this uh, wireless uh, LAN wire. So we will remove these two wires and reroute it towards the front side. So uh, we rerouted the wire over here. 
towards the front. Uh, now we can remove the RAM and also the CD-ROM since the screw from here has been, from here and here has been detached. So now we can take out the CD-ROM. So in order to take out the RAMs, uh, there are these two holders over here, which you can see. You push them one towards down and one towards up, and that's it. That's how you just take it out. Same thing with the down one. So we're back to the front, and now we're gonna take out this wire and remove it. So that way now we can lift this front panel up and separate from the base. So now we have removed the front panel and now we're going to uh, separate the LCD from the base. So there's, um, let me zoom in, there's two screws over here, one, two, and then the same thing over here, one, two on the other side. Uh, one of one, one of mine is broken on the right side, so just remove these two screws and you'll remove it from the base. So I have removed the front panel from the base and uh, I will work on the front panel first. Uh, so this one I'm going to put aside and take out the new parts and assemble the front screen and I'll work on the base later. So I'm holding the back cover and uh, with this new back cover um, I got these two hinges, new hinges, so I will be using those along with the wireless uh, LAN antenna cable. Uh, so uh, this is for the back cover. So this is the new LCD. Uh, it's by LG. And uh, the thing is that it didn't have the LCD strip oh, like this one. Uh, so I'm using the old and uh, genuine one since it's working properly, but it did not come with the LCD. So it is important that you save the parts before throwing them. Uh, since some of these new uh, parts that you will order will not always have the stuff with them. And uh, also, uh, this uh, the sidebars for the support were not with uh, the new one. So I am using the old ones in this case and one of it them is broken from this side. But still it will have pretty much good support. So I have the strip connected over here with the screen. And once I turn the screen over, uh, I will place the camera in these two slots and then there's uh, screws over here uh, so first let me turn around so once you're placing the screen you have to simultaneously uh, manage the wiring uh, that is properly set it and uh, like this upper one for the wireless antenna it goes all the way from here and then you take it out from here and same for the camera that you make sure that it's sitting properly on its back and it's like a straight coming to the uh, connection over here for the LCD and then it's coming out from here going straight and they're both of them meeting over here where they come out from a loop over here uh, one from one of these uh, hedges so once you got all set it the LCD is fit now you do one two three four four screws uh, to hold on the LCD in place so once uh, this is all done, you have all the screws and your back panel with the LCD is now good to go. Uh, you place the front trim, uh, but unfortunately I don't have the new trim with me. So I will be using the old one, uh, which is broken, but for the time being just to close it. So we're done with the front uh, LCD and the panel. And now we're gonna work on the base. So this is the old base and this is the new base that I got. And so basically what we will be doing is uh, taking all those components and transferring it uh, onto the new, new base, which I got over here. So let's go ahead and start removing these parts and placing them on this panel. So we will remove first the connections that are to the motherboard, the fan, uh, the power um, along with the hard drive and the other miscellaneous connections and uh, remove all the screws that are holding down the motherboard. So we got all the screws loose from the motherboard now we're gonna detach the hard drive so we're gonna remove these two screws. 
So now we take out the fan from these two screws over here. So we detach the power port from the motherboard and then we're going to lift out the motherboard. So the new base cover already has uh, two speakers. Uh, so I will be transferring the power port which goes over here. And then along with that I will be um, taking off the motherboard and the other the headphone jack and the other USB ports panel over here. So this is the panel that I will be taking the motherboard along with the power port. I already have the two speakers. I will just fix the wires that are here around the border. So we screwed all over the motherboard and now we're going to put the fan and the hard disk. So we are done with the assembly of the base along with the motherboard, the hard drive and the fan. So now we are going to add the LCD uh, and add the hinges over here uh, before we put on the palm rest panel. So the screen and these hinges are is going to go around this area. So I will put one screw over here and then two over here and leave this one later when I put the panel, uh, the palm rest panel, then I will screw this over here. So once the panel is connected to the base, uh, now you can put the palm rest panel on it. Uh, be careful of the wires, you have to lift them up and place this panel around this and then you will start hearing the clicking sounds and push it all away in from all sides. So it's all clicked in and in place so now we have to put in the screws. There are also three screws that over here around this area, the small ones for the CD ROM. So this is also, this attaches the base with the front panel. So now we have to work these t on two wires uh, that come from the LCD. So one is the LCD wire which goes in here along with uh, I believe this is a ground which goes inside over here and uh, this is the wireless antenna. So we're gonna uh, groove from here and then pass it to this hole towards the back. So once the wire is out from uh, here in the back side then you route it from these grooves and then connect it so the white one goes to the white and the black one goes to the black. All my wires are routed and connected. Uh, I'm gonna connect the mouse pad uh, cable over here and along with the keyboard uh, cable over here and then place the keyboard on top. So the keyboard is placed on top now these two screws so once your keyboard is uh, screwed on from the two screws and then you need to put on the keyboard bezel. So the bezel has uh, one uh, power strip which is a tower attached to the power button. There's no screws, they're all, uh, you're gonna hear the click sounds. Uh, you're gonna push them from all the corners uh, until it settles down. So now we are done with the front part um, with the keyboard, the fr front bezel and the front palm rest and now we're going to move towards finalizing the back side. So we will install the two RAMs that we took out. The installation of the RAM is very simple. You insert it in the socket. You're going to first start with the bottom one. You insert it like this and then you press it down and it's um, it notches in. The same thing you do with the second RAM. You push dock it in, push it downwards, click. Now we have to put in these two screws. Now we're gonna install the CD-ROM, we're gonna slide it in. We're gonna install two small screws over here in the battery compartment. So now we will install the back panel cover along with the two screws. So now we can install all the screws for the back panel and uh, close it up. At this point your whole laptop is assembled, all your screws are in places, everything is in place. Now we have to move on to the final step is the battery. So this is the old Dell battery that I have and this is the new one that I ordered. It is different, uh, it's an aftermarket battery uh, but if we look at the specs um, this one is 4400 milliampere 
whereas this one has an extra cell this one makes it a 6600 milliampere so and it also gives a slight lift to my laptop which helps in the ventilation so you take your battery you slide it in you hear that click sound it's in place now now you charge it and uh, then you check so this is it guys uh, everything has been changed looks pretty much brand new now very well from before and this LCD screen is working uh, this thing is an eyesore but I will keep trying to find a better replacement for this uh, this is not that technical uh, you just can take off the trim whenever I get the new one and just take it off and just put it back in no screws no nothing so it's gonna be a simple procedure uh, the main thing was taking all of the components out and uh, making sure that everything is connected properly so uh, as you can see the palm rest is working the type and the keyboard is good and uh, the power worked properly the new battery is working properly the LCD is also good there's no uh, so any kind of uh, defragmentation or pixels being pixelated anywhere so the screen is good as well this is it guys for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, do let me know in the comments section. And don't forget to like and subscribe my page and keep learning. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and bye bye.